Today we're going to be doing some reading about <coughs> athletes, fans, and mascots. Athletes, fans, and mascots. Athletes are people who like to play sports. Do you like to play sports? Some sports are basketball. Dun, 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 dun. That one is a sport. Or we have um, soccer. When you run to kick the ball. I like basketball. You like basketball? Basketball is good. I like yes. Uh, we have basketball, soccer, football, baseball, uh, tennis, table tennis. Even table tennis is a sport. Um, all of these are different types of sports. Let's take a look at some of the sports. Let's see, S-P-O-R-T-S, sports. Hmm. Here are just some of the sports. Um, some of these here. There are a lot of sports balls and equipment that you can use. So some of these are some of the different sports here. Uh, so this one here is, what's this one? Do you know this one, Lisa? Baseball. Yeah, very good. That one is baseball. How about this one, Hugo? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> you should know that one. It's what you like. What? Long. what? Pass. Basketball. Yeah. Basketball. That one's basketball. <laughs> and how about this one, Lisa? I don't know this. That one is, yeah, well, it's what a lot of people like to call this one in other countries, like in England and. Uh, football. Yeah, football. they call it, This one is what we call football. So this one here is football. Say football. Football. Yeah, that one's football. Um, but this one, what is this one? Soccer. Yes. Soccer. In America, we call that one soccer because we have this one, which is already football. So we have soccer and then we have football. And we also have this one here. Does anyone know what, what, what is that one? I don't know. That one is hockey. 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 Mm -hmm. So we got baseball, basketball, football. Hockey and soccer. 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 And then we have these last two here, which is this one here. What's this one, Lisa? Ten. I don't know. Tess. Tennis. 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 Do you like tennis? No, I don't like tennis. Uh, it's a lot of running on this one. You run, hit the ball, boosh, run over here, do, 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 hit the ball, boosh, run over here, do, 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 hit the ball. It's very tiring game. For me. <laughs> Too busy? Ugh. Soccer is the same way. Most of these other sports are always the same way, running back and forth, and back and forth. It's always run, 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 run. Oh. Uh, except for this one. This one doesn't let you run. I don't. What is this one, Hugo? Golf. Uh huh. Golf. 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 Very good. Golf. Golf. The L just kind of makes a L sound in there. In the middle, after that, ah. Golf. 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 Um, and then, of course, we have soccer. So, baseball, basketball, football, hockey, tennis. Golf and soccer. Those are some of the sports that many people like to play. You have athletes. Um, so these athletes are the players. So this one is a baseball athlete, basketball athlete, football athlete, uh, hockey athlete, tennis athlete, golf athlete, and a soccer athlete. So an athlete is just a person that likes to play sports. Are you an athlete, Hugo? Do you like to play no. sports? No. Yes. Yes? You like sports yes. or don't like sports? I like sports. I like sports. Sports are good. How about Lisa? Are you an athlete? Do you like to play sports? No, I don't. No? Hmm. Well, they have another sport, too, that a lot of children like to play. Well, 
many children like to play, which is this one here. Da, 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 da. These children are athletes. What do they play? Run. Yeah. Run. run. They like to run. And running is a kind of sport. It's another type of sport, and it makes you an athlete. If you like to do this, then you are an athlete. Um, let's go into today's lesson now. Today, we're going to be looking at these words here. We've got late, confuse, and compete. Um, all three of these words have something in common. They all have long vowels. What is a long vowel? A vowel, which is the letter A, E, I, O, o and U. E. Uh, these are our most common vowels, and sometimes a Y. Y is also sometimes a vowel, uh, but these ones are the, the five main vowels. So we've got the A, the E, the I, the O, and the U. Vowels. Short vowels, where the A makes the A ah sound like apple, the E says eh, like egg, and the I says I, like Indian or in. And then the O says ah, like octopus. And the U says uh, as in umbrella, or up, or under, or up. Uh, 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 something. Uh. <laughs> so those are short vowels. Long vowels, where this one, so instead of making the ah sound, this one here makes the a sound. Why? Because it has the A dash E. A dash E makes the A sound. Say A. A. So what is this word, Lisa? Late. Yeah, very good. L, A, and then the T makes the T sound. And then this one here has got the U dash E. What's this one? What's this one, Hugo? Sing. Um. Home, yeah, the the U the U dash E makes it, instead of saying the uh sound like the short U would say uh oh. long U F makes the U sound for you say feels confuse there you go confuse um somebody who is confused doesn't know what you are talking about huh what what huh 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That one is confused. <laughs> Say confused. I feel confused. Yeah. Someone confused is a person. This is how we describe a person who doesn't know um, because they, they don't understand. Well, boom, bye. Uh, so they are confused. And then we have this one here, which also has the E dash E. So E dash E, instead of making the E sound like egg, this one makes the E dash E, which is the E sound. Uh, what is this one, Lisa? Computer. Compet. Compet or E. Compete. There you go, compete. So we got the late, which says A, confuse, which says U, and then compete which says E. So here they got the A, the U, and then the E sound. So all three of these are gonna be the, the long vowel sounds, A, U, and E. Um, let's try reading this question. Hugo, help me read this one. Question, mm. do you have to be a guard helped to play sports? Mm. Let's look for our long vowels on this one. So here we've got the E-A, which instead of making the eat sound, you would think it says E-A-T because it's eat. Uh, this one's kind of special. So instead of making the E sound, it actually makes the A sound. G, R, A, and then T, great. Say great. 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 And then here we've got the E dash E, which says eat. Great athlete. Question, do you have to be, there's our E sound on that one too, be a great athlete to play sports? 
Do you have to be a great athlete? An athlete, remember, an athlete is a sports player, somebody who likes to play sports. And if you are a great athlete, that means you are very good. I'm a great athlete. I'm very good um, at whatever sport I like to play. So this one they play, what do they play? Soccer. Yeah, soccer. <laughs> they play soccer. Um, so they are, they are very good athletes. They are great athletes. But if you want to be an athlete, uh, if you want to play sports, do you have to be an athlete to play sports? Only athletes can play sport? Are you an athlete, Lisa? Yeah. Are you an athlete? No. 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 Um, in this one, athletes are usually you know, people who play sports well. Um, and you don't have to be an athlete to play sports. You can be children. Some children play sports too. And remember, the athletes are the, usually the older people or somebody who's really, really good at it. Um, and they are athletes. So some, some people that play it are not athletes. Help me read this one, Lisa. Answer. We had the question, now we have the answer. Answer. This may surprise you, but you don't have to be a great answer to play sports. Mm -hmm. Many people enjoy being on a team and trying their best. They like to com compete, even if they don't win. They enjoy playing and having fun. That's even. Even. Yeah, even if they don't win, they enjoy playing. This one has the O, when they enjoy playing. This one has the A, and having fun. This one's got the E, uh, this one's got the I, like, this one's got the A, they. Mm -hmm. um, this may surprise you, but you don't have to be a great athlete to play sports. Many people enjoy being, oh, wait, there's an E, being, <laughs> being on a team and trying, oh, there's an I, trying their best they like to compete even if they don't win they there's a enjoy playing and having fun e a i o u and y uh hugo your turn you try is where this map Answer. the w here Answer. makes no sound so it just goes n and then s, and then the w goes out. And that's er, answer. Answer. Mm. This is map surprise. You buy, you don't have to be a great athlete. Uh, athlete to play soccer. Uh? Sports. sports 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 man people enjoy being on a team and uh, trying their best they like to compete even if they don't win they enjoy playing and uh, having fun there you go. They enjoy playing and having fun. Very good. So there are some small athletes too, uh, big athletes. And then you have some children that just like to play for fun. They're not athletes because they don't play a lot, but they do, they do like to play sometimes. So if you like to play sometimes, you are not an athlete, but it's fun. Um, so here we have surprise, athlete, compete. These words here all have the the long vowel sounds. Um, athlete, surprise, compete. Uh, then we have this one here. What is this one, Lisa? 
Reptile. Um, the rep is right, R E P, rep, and then you have the T I L E. This one has the I dash E. Reptile. Yeah, very good. Makes the I sound tile. Uh, reptile. A reptile is a kind of animal. Um, this one is called a iguana. Iguana or big lizard. Um, this one is a kind of animal, a kind of reptile. Um, so let's try this one here. We've got our, not the athletes, sports, the runner. Um, R-E-P-T-I-L-E. Reptiles can be a lot of different animals. Uh, so here are some, let me see if I find some, some of the reptiles here. Zoop. Here's a list of some reptiles. All of these are reptiles. You've got the, some turtles, frogs, lizard, iguana, um, alligator, snake, some snakes, some frogs, not all frogs, some frogs, um, and even this one here. What is this? I, fish? <laughs> fish? No, not fish. <laughs> That's a baby frog. Oh. And call it a tadpole. Oh. Tadpole is a baby frog. Reptiles and amphibians. So these, some of these are amphibians, some of them are frogs. The amphibians are similar to the reptiles, but the amphibians start in the water. They're, when they're babies, they're in the water. That's the amphibian. Babies are in the water. Um, and then when they grow up, they come out of the water. Zoom. So here we have, let's see. In and out of the water. So here's some different reptiles, mostly like the lizards, the snakes, and the um, alligators. Reptiles. Hmm. So there's your reptiles. That one is a reptile. Reptile, uh, lizard, iguana is a kind of reptile. Rep, and then you have tile. How about this one? Bing, Hugo. Make. Make. Very good. Has the A sound. How about this one, Lisa? Hike. Hike. Has the I sound. I dash E. How about this one, Hugo? Tone. Tone. Yeah, has the O. O dash E makes the O sound. T O N. Tone. And then you have the U dash E, Lisa? Mute. Yeah, mute. Very good. M U T. Mute. Mute yourself. When you mute yourself, you make yourself quiet. So let's mute someone which is uses this little icon here like that and then there's your microphone and then here here is the little microphone piece there's your microphone and when you mute yourself you Ha <laughs> That one is to mute. You mute yourself so others cannot hear you. It's a, to cross out your sound. There's a mute. Um, how about the next one, Hugo? What's this? Hugo is muted. Don't mute, Hugo. <laughs> Sign. Well, E dash E. E. Yeah. Try again. Sign. Theme. There you go. That one is a theme. The theme is like the, um, the story of something. What something is about. What is the theme of a story? So you have the, the uh, three little pigs. They had the story with the three little pigs. Um, what, is the, what is the theme of that story? What is that story? That story is supposed to teach you about don't open the door for strangers. Don't let people you don't know in your house it can be dangerous. The wolf knocks on the door, kong, kong, kong. Little pig, let me in. And the little pig goes, okay. Eh. Hello. <laughs> what happened to the little pig? <laughs> the wolf will eat the pig. Um, so there's a theme on most stories. It's supposed to teach you something. Um, then we have this one here, Lisa. What is this one? <laughs> Lisa is a Lisa. <laughs> 
That's not Lisa. So you have the first part here, which has our U, and then the second part has our A here. So when, when we're trying to cut a word, we look for the different vowels. So here we get the vowels, and then we can cut it somewhere in the middle to make it that sound. So you got F, R, U, S, Fras, and then this one here has a, a vowel family. So it's got the A dash E. So these ones have to stay together which makes a, their own little sound, the A sound. Frustrate. 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 Hmm. And then sometimes you can even plus the, the D on the, the end of it, which would make a T-E-D. Then it would be frustrated. How are you? I'm frustrated. Uh, frustrated means you are angry because you can't do something. Some people try to do something a lot. They try and try and try, and I can't, I can't fly. <laughs> so they get angry because they can't. Um, and that means that you are frustrated. Or doing, doing so much homework makes you frustrated. Frustrate um, with the A-E. How about this one? C-O-S, and then the last part has the U-E. What's this one, Hugo? Term. Mm, remember, term. the U dash E makes the U. U. Mm -hmm. Say costume. 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 Very good. There is a costume. Uh, the boy wears a costume during Halloween. Most students usually wear costumes. And there's a lot of different costumes that you can wear. Some of them like to wear the ghost. Some like to be a witch. <laughs> um, some like to wear a lot of different kind of costume. So here are some of the costumes that children like. Sometimes scary. Sometimes pretty. Sometimes weird. Uh huh. <laughs> that one is a costume. What happened here? Interesting. So there we have a costume. And then we have some of them that are scary, like this one here. Uh, it, oh, I thought that was it, the clown. Nope, not, not it. That one's the Willy Wonka. That one's one of those, um, I forget the name of them, but from the Willy Wonka. Yunk. Um, then we have this one here. So a costume is just some kind of clothes, special clothes that you wear to make you look special or different. Um, then we have this one, Lisa. Boop. Athlete. E dash E. Athlete. There you go, athlete. This one is a basketball athlete. He likes to play basketball. And then we have this one here. This one, remember the baby frog, we kind of talked about it a minute ago, was tadpole. Tadpole. A tadpole is a frog, uh, a baby frog. Number one or number two, which one is tadpole, Hugo? Number one. Yeah, number one. Tadpole has the O dash E, tadpole. Tadpoles from the fastest. Mm, the tadpole swim the fastest. Then we have this one here, uh, Lisa. When you read a story, a story, another word for a story is a tale. Tale is number one. Mm. Ding. Have to read a tale about the race. Race, the A dash E on that one, race. Um, Pat read, this one uses in the past tense, so it makes the E sound, read. Um, a tale about the race. Pat read a tale about the race. And then we have this one here, Hugo. This one is called a bracelet. She has a new bracelet. Mm, it's what? Yep, that one has the A dash E. Bray, and then the C E says S. Bray, S, L, E, T. Bracelet. There is our bracelet. Do you have a bracelet? No. No? No. Hmm. How about Lisa? Do you have a bracelet? Bracelet? No bracelet? Yes, yeah, Lisa's got a bracelet. I knew Lisa had one. Everybody's got a bracelet. Well, 
Um, during their, they, they have a Chinese holiday where the people usually, the children make a bracelet for the boys and the girls. So you can Mother. buy a bracelet and then you oh, give it to someone and then you wear a bracelet. <laughs> How about this one, Hugo? What's this word? Mm -mm. Excite. <laughs> So EX says X, and then you have the C I T E. C I so it makes the S sound instead of the K. Um, s, and then you have the I dash E I. S I T. X site. Excite. If you plus a D on that one, then it makes it excited. 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 Yeah, because the T E D would change the sound completely. Excited. Uh, how about this one, Lisa? Wait. We will invite Jill to the park. Mm, invite. What is invite? We will invite Jill to the park. Jill is a girl's name. A girl. So invite a girl to the park. Go to the park to play. When you invite, it means you ask her, do you want to go to the park to play? Sure, okay, let's go. Um, that is invite. When you invite someone to do something, you ask them to, to go with you or to do something together. Do you want to blah, 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 blah? Do you want to blah, 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 blah? Do you want to blah, 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 blah? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Um, how about this one? Hugo. Can we include the whole team? Mm. On this one, the U dash E makes the OO sound. Sometimes U, sometimes OO. Include. This one's include. Include. Yep. And the WH makes the H sound. W H O. Whole. O dash E. Whole. Clue. The whole team. Clue. Yeah, the whole team is all of the team. The whole. When you're talking about a whole something, include it means to. Um, it, that one is also to invite or when you include them, it means you're doing something with everyone. You're adding them in, put them together. Let's go over this one here. We get to find some of these little words here. So the first one we're looking for is an athlete. Um, we've got, we've got number one, number two, and number three. We're looking for the athlete. Are you ready? Number, which one is the athlete? Number one, number two. Or number three. Did, 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 did. Where is the athlete? Three. Number, number, two, number three. two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Yes. Ding. Very good. That one is our athlete. How about this one, Lisa? Looking for the flame. Flame is just another word for fire. Flame. Which one is a flame? A dash e. Ready, Lisa? Flame. Number one, two, three. Two. Number two. Number two. No, 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 not number two. Number one, number two, or number three? Uh, number three. Number this two. one here. Number three. Number three. Yeah, that one is what we call the flame. The flame is a kind of kind of fire thing. And then we need the tadpole. Remember, the tadpole was the baby frog. Yeah, you be idea. Uh, the baby frog. Um, tadpole. Is it number Hugo? Ready? Number, number, number? Okay. Number one, two, three. 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 <laughs> one, two, three. 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 Yeah, ding ding. This one is a tadpole. They look kind of funny. Blow boop. <laughs> the babies look angrier than the mommies. All right, then we have this one here. What is this one, Lisa? Stove. Yeah, stove. A stove is used for cooking food. You cook food on the stove. The stove and sometimes has the oven too. Stove and oven. Uh, which one is a stove for cooking food? Number one, two, three. Number one? Where's three? Bing, bing. What oh, there, there's three. Oh, number three. Number three. You said number three? For cooking food, to cook the food, make the food hot. 
number yeah, one. Me. Yeah, Lisa's got it. It's number one. Very good. That one is a stove. Stove. Number three was a straw. Straw for drinking the water. Uh, then we have this one here. Hugo. What is this one? Hugo. What's that word? One. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. How do you read that? One. L-E-T. What is this word here? What's this? Bracelet. Yeah, remember, C-E says S. Bracelet. 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 So the bracelet was what Lisa has that goes on your arm. That one is called a bracelet. Ooh. So this one is a bracelet, Hugo, number one, two, three, one, one, three. Mm-hmm. Very good. Number one is the bracelet. Uh, then we have this one here. Lisa, what's this? 19. 19. Um, 17, 18, 19, 20. 19 has a one and a nine. One nine is 19. 19. Which one is 19, Lisa? Number one, number two, number three. Number two. One, number two, number two. Yeah. Mm, that's right. That one is 19, unless, of course, you switch it around. No, it's 61. <laughs> oh? What? Oh, no, that's not right. It's supposed to go like that. All right, there we have 19. Ding, very good. Say 19. 19. Mm. How about this one? Hugo. What's this? Costa. Costume. Costa. Has a U sound. Costume. Costume. Um, a costume are the special clothes that people sometimes wear for whatever. Uh, which one is a costume? Number one, number two, number three. Number three. Number three. Yeah, very good. That one is our costume. Ding, ding, ding. All right. Um, then we're going to spin some spelling. Spelling. The first one we have, Lisa. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Are you ready? Lisa, how do you spell? Exhale. Exhale. Using one of these for the X and one of these for the hail. Which one is exhale? E-X-H-A-L-E. Yes. E-X-H-A-L-E. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale is to breathe out. Breathe out. Inhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe out. So you got exhale. How about this one? Hugo. Hugo. How do you spell? Compete. Compete. C-O-M-P-E-T-E. Very good. Compete means to play a game to see who can be number one. Who can be winner? Um, people, some children and people like to compete and play games to see who is, who, who is better, who can win. How about this one, Lisa? La, 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 Lisa. Lisa, how do you spell? Survive. 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 S-U-R-V-I-V-E. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that one is S U R V I V E. Survive. Um, then we have this one, Hugo. Hugo, how do you spell? Be long. Be long. B E L O N G. B long. Be long. I that pen belongs to me. It is my pen, belong to. When something belongs to somebody, it's a shithara. It's their person. It belongs to that person. How about this one, Lisa? Combine. C-L-I-B-I-N-E. Mm, C-O-M-B-I-N-E, combine. Very good, that one is combine. And then this one here, Hugo. Inside. I N S I D E. Hmm. Inside. What is inside your head? What the now? My inside. brain is inside my head. <laughs> that oh, is inside. Inside is yummy. What is inside the bottle? Inside is yummy. Hmm. Water is inside the bottle. Inside is yummy. Yes. 
the toad uh, inside Limian is yummy. How to that? Yeah, you know them. You want to eat the brain? Are you a zombie? No. Zombie. Is this inside? Oh. Is this inside? <laughs> this inside. All right. Uh, so let's read about this one here. Um, we've got the athletes, fans, and the mascots. Now we've learned about the athletes. Athletes are the players. Um, we didn't really go over the fans or the mascots. The mascots are the ones that wear that wear the costume, like this one here. This person is called a mascot. Tiger. Say, mascot. Mascot. It doesn't it's have to be a tiger. It could be. It, it could be anything. Um, oh. For most of like the sports teams, they'll have this kind of M A S C O T. Um, they'll have a kind of mascot costume, uh, which let me see. Um, num, 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 which are like this one here, mascots. There's Chuck E. Cheese. Um, so even like the even the food places have mascots. McDonald's mascot is a clown. Was is something. Then you have KFC. His mascot is the old person. <laughs> Some bark. Uh, and then you have Eminem. They have their their Eminem as their mascot. Um, and all of these sports teams also have a kind of a mascot, a person that wears a costume. There is our mascot. Say mascot. 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 Very good. That one is a mascot. Now the fans are a little bit different. Um, the fans are the people that actually like to sit and watch. So this one here is a mascot, but if you look at Homie, um, behind him, then these people, these are the fans. Is they like, a dog. The, yes. A dog mascot for some double zero something. But that one is a mascot. And then you have the fans, which are the people who like to sit and watch. They go, woo! Go, 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 go. go. Um, those are the, the fans. Say fans. So let's read about the athletes, fans, and the mascots. First, we're going to start with Lisa. Lisa, help me read this one. STL's fans, mascots. Mm, athletes. Uh, athletes is a person who is good at sports. Athletes can compete along or play on teams. Yeah, so some athletes compete or play alone. When they do it alone, it means it's only one person, just one person. Uh, for certain sports like golf, they go like this. Um, those kind of athletes, they play golf, which is a sport. Um, but these athletes play, uh, they can compete alone. They don't have a team or other players who play with them. Um, but basketball players, basketball athletes, they usually play on a team with many other players. So that's the difference between sometimes some athletes play alone. Some athletes play on a team. Yoink. And then we have this one, Hugo, fans. A fans is a person who likes to watch a cell. Yes. Athletes. Athletes. Fans may not like to play star sports, sports. sports by chasing for a team. Exist. Them. Excites. That one has the I dash. Excites. Yeah, excites, excites them. them. A fan is a person who likes to pl likes to watch athletes. They like to watch the people play the sport. So you go, ooh, I like this person. He's very fast. Watch, 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 watch. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Uh, fans may not like to play sports, mm. but cheering for a team excites them. It makes them feel makes them feel excited to cheer woo, 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 for a team or for other athletes or players. Um, so they feel excited. They feel happy. Lisa. A team master helps. Mascot. Mascot helps to lead train. A Cheering. E. 
cheering. When people are cheering, they go. Wow! Feel that music with the team name. Moscow's invite fans to stand up and yell. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mascots invite fans to stand up. They they want the people to stand up, stand up, and yeah. <laughs> they try to make the fans even louder than they already are. So most fans go yay, and the mascot's job is supposed to make them go yay. And this is what the mascot does. Yeah. They're 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 supposed to make the fans excited. Yeah. Um, how about yeah. this one? They also make children like the sport too. Yeah. Hugo. At least fans must cause. Mm -hmm. An athlete is a person who is good at sports. Mm -hmm. As 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 athletes can compete alone or play on teams. Yes, they can compete alone or play on teams. Very good. Ding. Lisa. A fan, a person who likes to watch a tears. Ah. As late. Uh -huh. e, there you go. <laughs> e dash e. Athletes. Athletes. Fans may not like to play sports, but changing. Double e. E. Cheering. Cheering for a team excites them. There you go. Very good. A fan is a person. Well, we'll come back and know that. Hugo. A team mascot helps to tell cheering. A mascot. Say lead. 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 A mascot. Wait, 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 what's this one? <laughs> cheersing, 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 is this it? Cheer, cheering, ah, cheering, ah. cheering, 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 a mask coat has a cosmetic costume, costume that goes with the team name Miss Coach even first invite invite fans to stand up and yeah and and yeah yell <laughs> yell <laughs> yell. Yell. Yell, yell, yell all right so we got yell. athletes fans and mascots first one is athlete yeah, fans. Yeah, yeah. Mascots. Um, an athlete is a person who is good at sports. Athletes can compete, compete alone, oh, or play on teams. That one has the A and then the E, play on teams. A lot of words have long vowels in them. Uh, a fan is a person who likes to watch athletes athletes fans may not like to play sports but cheering for a team excites them excites x s i t s excites makes a long i sound a team mascot helps to lead cheering helps to lead cheering a mascot has a costume yudashi costume that goes with the team name with the team name, like um, some teams have a, have a name that usually references to a kind of animal, um, like this one. What are some of the soccer teams? Well, we'll go with we'll go with some basketball basketball teams. I'm not sure of too many teams. 
not a big thing for me. All right, so we got Los Angeles Lakers, Golden State Warriors, Brooklyn Nets, Boston Celtics, Toronto Raptors. There's a lot of Chicago Bulls. So can you guess what the Chicago Bulls mascot will be? A bull. <laughs> um, so most of these like mascots, they'll ha- or most of these teams, they'll have a mascot that 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 looks like their name, that has something to do with their name. Uh, so let's take a look at some of their basketball team mascots. So he- here's a lot of different teams, um, and most of the teams will usually use a mascot that uh, references their name, like these ones here, Raptors. Raptor is easy, use a dinosaur. The Timberwolves, they'll use a wolf. Um, the bears, you got bucks, deers. So a lot of mascots are usually animals. That's why a lot of these teams oh. usually are named oh. after, oh. Uh, after an animal because it makes it easier to make a mascot for the tigers, you know. Tiger. Oh. We could call myself, my team is the tigers or whatever. <laughs> a team mascot tigers. helps to lead cheering. A mascot has a costume that goes with the team name. Mascots invite fans to stand up and yell. Um, they invite fans. They try to get all of the fans to stand up and yell. Then we have this one here. Question with the fill in the blank. Lisa. Team mascots have costumes. Costumes. That one's number one. Very good. They have costumes. The mascot has a costume. And then we have this one, Hugo. Sports teams are made up of athletes. Athletes? Athletes? <laughs> Remember, the E dash yes. E only makes one sound. Athlete. Athletes. Athlete. Yeah, Athlete. Very good. Sports teams are made up of athletes. Um, so most sports teams generally have a lot of different athletes. So if you want to be an athlete, what sport would you want to play? What sport do you play. want to play, Lisa? I play, play basketball. Swim. Swim. Swimming is a good athlete. That's a good sport. I like swimming. I like Swimming. I like basketball. Swimming could be fun. Basketball is nice too. Basketball, too much running for me. If I pick one, I would choose. Is sitting a sport? Uh, yes. Ready? Go. Oh. I win. <laughs> Um, I would choose swimming. Swimming is fun. I like swimming. Uh, swimming is a very interesting sport. Um, running, as long as it's short running, I don't like to run for a long time, but it's good exercise. Most sports are usually very good exercise, so they help keep you strong and fit. Um, all right, that's all we had for the athletes, the fans, and the mascots, so say goodbye, athletes, fans, and mascots. Bye.